Well, with so much of our lives online right now, cybersecurity is becoming a huge part of national security. Some students in the Miami Valley are getting the specialized training they need to protect our country's online defenses. Two News reporter Allison Enns joins us live with a look at what sets Cedarville University's program apart. Allison, good morning. Good morning, Kelly, Caleb. Cedarville University launched its cyber operations program in 2020, and it became a first of its kind program here in the state of Ohio. And they've even received a designation through the NSA because of the quality education that they're providing that feeds them into these high demand jobs. So Cedarville's program is called cyber operations. And with that, students are learning the highly technical side of cyber operations, which is different from what we may know of from IT or protecting a business. They're learning things like programming, software development, and then taking that and seeing where those weaknesses are in those programs so that they can make them stronger and protect our country. Now, they, this all helps uh, make our country's defense a little bit safer, and students say learning these skills takes a lot of work, but they say it is very valuable. You ultimately get to help your community, your state, and your nation. I think we're increasingly seeing the effects of how poor cybersecurity uh, not only affects those who sort of uh, don't implement good security practices, but it affects their customers and really the entire community as a whole. Now, Cedarville's program is based on the National Security Administration's model of what a cyber operations program should look like at a university. In 2018, the program became one in 20 in the country to receive the NSA's Center of Academic Excellence Award, or Excellence Designation, rather. And coming up in the next half hour, we'll be talking about how high demand there is for this jo these jobs or students to have these skills, and also the types of jobs that these students have available to them after graduating. Live in Dayton, Allison Gens, 2 News Today.